Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain command dropped in SOLIDWORKS software. See here we have a dropped option. For this, create a block. Go to Sketcher. I create a rectangle. I extrude this here we have dropped option see here we have three options here neutral plane parting line step dropped see first I select neutral plane in this first give any angle and does some 15 degrees the neutral plane I select the top surface phase 2 drop I select this surface so here phase 2 drop you will get a, a dropped angle to the to this face and neutral plane is this one so neutral plane surface will be constant it will be having same length and width and by this angle you can see 15 degrees dropped angle you can see dropped onto this face If you reverse this arrow, see here 15 degrees are dropped, you can see inside. So you have to reverse the direction, you can't give negative value. See, if you give minus 15, see when I give minus 15 can we give negative value so that if we give minus 15 will it take inside let me check see please enter number greater than see it should be it should be it should be in between 1 to 90 degrees whereas in other softwares you can give a negative values also but in SOLIDWORKS it won't accept you can change the, you can reverse this direction tool direction go for ok I go back you can select multi surfaces also go for draft neutral plane now I select the base surface and the base surface will be constant phase 2 dropped surface 1 2 3 4 then go for ok So you can see 15 degrees dropped to all the surfaces. I go back. Then we see options. The other option drop. Then what is this parting line? Parting line here we need to give angle. Direction of pull. You have to give. You have to select any edge for direction, or you can directly select the face then the direction will be perpendicular to that face then what is this parting line see parting line nothing but in previous case we have seen that uh, when we select this face for dropped dropped angle is applied over entire length of this face if we want if we want some limitation to this uh, dropped angle see i want only up to here I want dropped then we have to use this parting line option as it is mentioned parting line you can't create a line on the surface and you can't select in this option parting line see let me check I cancel this as I select this surface I go to sketch I create a line on this surface exit 
exit sketch see here we have a line that doesn't mean that this line we can select in parting line see direction of pull we can able to select this surface and angle we give 15 degrees but here parting line when I try to select this line it will not accept then what to select here nothing but what does this parting line do is that if we want dropped up to this line not not to entire length of the surface up to here up to this line if we need dropped then we have to use parting line so what we need to do in this option is see go for a curve curves option go to split line keep in projection option select sketch to project then select on this surface you can also select multi surfaces this surface this surface this surface see what does it do we just take it out see at that position you can see split you can see edge splitting the surface this we can select in the place of parting line go for drop now see angle whatever I give 20 degrees direction of pull select this surface parting line select this edge now see 20 degrees now I go for ok you can see what does it do see up to the draft will be only up to parting line not to the entire height of the surface up to that parting line we got the draft inside if we want outside go to drop edit feature simple thing reverse this pulling direction then go for ok see this is a parting line you can select all on all four sides see I delete this drop again I go to drop direction of pull the top surface parting line edge 1 edge 2 edge 3 edge 4 I give angle 10 degrees or 15 degrees then go for on all four sides up to that parting edge we got dropped that's it simple thing edit feature if we reverse direction see here also you can reverse the direction of pull then it adds to that angle then this is the parting line then what does this step drop to step drop also similar to parting line only see the simple difference is see parting line okay see parting line here it is constant I go back see parting line what it does mean see up to this edge this parting edge it is constant at parting edge and we got a drop to either top or bottom but here at the parting edge the surface length and width is constant say suppose now I use the next option step dropped step dropped same direction of pull I select this surface parting line see first I select only one edge then you can notice the difference in previous case at this parting edge the surface at this the surface at this parting edge is constant but now at step dropped see the difference this edge will be constant and here it changes see 15 degrees I go for ok 
arrow direction is top pulling direction then i go for okay see here now the constant surface is this top surface the direction of pull whatever we have selected this is a constant with the same length and width but at the parting edge the area is increased if you if we reverse the direction of pull then it is decreased see go for edit feature just revert this then go for okay like this so here it is constant and here it is reduced or increased depends upon the drop angle i delete i once again select dropped i give only 10 degrees direction of pull step dropped i select this edge this one all the four edges i am selecting now do do observe this is step dropped it is constant at the uh, top surface and you can see change at the parting edge like this all the four sides so this is the difference between the step and a uh, parting edge see i show another example i go back i select this surface i go to show, i show i show another example uh, showing difference between a parting and step dropped not a single uh, not a straight line but there is a change in direction see i took like this i exit sketch now go to curves split line projection select this profile select on the surface now i go for dropped first i show step dropped see 10 degrees direction of pull i select this surface then parting line i select these edges 1 2 3 now the top a uh, pulling direction surface uh, it, here it is constant and it increase or decrease depends upon this angle at parting edge see then i go for okay see here it is increased if arrow direction is reversed see here see here normal to the screen i kept normal to the screen why because see in step there are two options here tapered steps perpendicular steps see now tapered steps is on that is why you can see see these edges okay these edges in between edges okay its position is depend upon the angle it is not straight it is not a perpendicular to this edge then say increase some angle then you can notice the difference between both i enter 20 degrees see here then see here it is clearly visible these edges are not perpendicular to this edge now when i keep perpendicular you can see you can see the Uh, direction of that edges uh, parting edges see it these are all these edges are splitting edges are perpendicular to this uh, wall edge that's the difference between 
taper and perpendicular in step dropped then i delete this that doesn't mean that we can select this type of profile in only step in the second option parting also you can select but you can see the difference see direction of pull i select this surface and parting line i select this edge this edge this edge then as we have already discussed that uh, here at the parting edge at the parting edge it is constant and at the top surface it changes to its top surface see in parting line like this. so this is about a dropped option see i use i use both option parting line and step dropped on either side of this edge see first i select step dropped direction of pull the surface parting lines these edges then go for okay see we got like this 25 degrees i reverse the arrow direction i think 25 degrees is not accepting it does it it might not have a much space at the base see i go for 20 degrees Eighteen degrees. Yeah, we got eighteen degrees like this. And I go for dropped. For this base, I select same parting edge as these edges. Now I select the other option, parting line. Then direction of pull, the base surface. Then parting lines. i select these edges let it i use some 20 degrees first i go for okay see it is constant at parting edges and it changes to the pulling direction I give more angle. Twenty-five. Go for okay. See like this. Now I reverse the direction. I give some thirty degrees. If we reverse, it adds so that we can give more angle also. Uh, I reverse the direction of pull. Then go for okay. reversed see like this so like this we can generate we can give a dropped angle in different ways by using this a uh, drop direction thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe imperial cat system